hey what's up guys so welcome back to another video from another tech youtube channel where we talk about tech and coding and a lot of stuff remember to hit the subscribe button so in today's video i just got frustrated while trying to use next js next 13 specifically on my windows machine this took me like a couple of hours to figure out how to go rest come back and then try again and i've done a couple of searches on the net for example this um, recommendation i was tempted to follow this recommendation to start uh get started with next.js on windows an article written on learn.microsoft.com but on a second thought i decided not to do it because when i went up to getting started with react how to install react on windows they also followed the same uh, method they advised that you run it on windows subsystem for linux this is not something everybody might want to do you might just want to run your normal code or development on your normal windows machine and then the issue i had was that i kept coming across this screen all right this dead end when i when i, I went to my vs studio code all right when i went to vs studio code and i ran after installing node uh, next i'm not gonna be explaining how to install next i'm hoping that for you to be here you already know how to go about that is quite straightforward when you go to next documentations you will see the straightforward way to install um, your next project all right so i did a couple of things there were different recommendations on on um on a stack overflow on github github where you know people exchange comments and all some people recommended that we delete this next dot next uh folder and then also delete the node modules and then do npm install and uh, some people recommended that we do npm uh we should update npm and then try doing um you know try running the dev server again but it just kept bringing back this dead end you know it says hmm country this side local host refused to connect the other thing i tried doing was to de deactivate uh, windows security firewalls deactivated everything i restarted my system a couple of times and still and still the issue persisted so what was left for me to do was i didn't see this on any of the you know platforms talking about this what i had to do was to upgrade my node all right because i was running node i was running node 16 previously on my machine and uh, that was due to an issue i had previously i had to downgrade my node and all that for some another development server and uh, system to work so this time around next.js refused to start up the server refused to start up i created like three different projects um, in different folders and they refused to stop to start up the dev server so what i did was just to use um, there are different ways to upgrade node for example you can uninstall it totally from your windows machine and then reinstall it okay and reinstall download the latest version and install it that's one way but um that's i think that's quite a long one the other thing you can do is to uh, install chocolatey or brew or depending on the machine you're using for me i'm making this video specifically for people who are using windows because that's where i had the issue but you might also find this helpful all right even if you're using a mac or a linux machine because you might have the same issue just try this out upgrade your node i upgraded my node as you can see now uh, my node version is now from 16. I moved it to the node V. So I moved it to node version 20.3.1. So I used Chocolaty, downloaded Chocolaty, installed Chocolaty on my Windows, and then I used Chocolaty to upgrade it. Okay, I asked how to upgrade node js 
using chocolate. I actually ran choco upgrade node.js dot install. That was what I did, and it was able to upgrade node.js to the latest version, version twenty. And immediately it upgraded. I restarted my laptop, and after restarting my laptop, I got. I went back to my VS Studio code and ran uh, NP, npm run dev, and I was able to have this server running. I now have my next dev uh, server running locally. So please, if you're having this issue, try this. If you've tried every other method and none of them worked out for you, please try upgrading your Node.js and uh, let me know in the comment section whether this worked for you or not. I make this kind of videos when I uh, in my coding journey, my tech journey, generally, when I come across this kind of issues, I make a video quickly about it. You can check out all of my videos. So please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can be more awesome. And also encourage YouTube to share this video to more people like you by liking that vid this video, thumbing it up, and also letting me know feedback if I helped you. Just say a quick thank you on the comment um section and of course if you want to get me a, a cup of coffee there is a link to my buy me a coffee link if i've saved you a couple of hours in tr troubleshooting you can click on that to buy me a coffee and then um, if you want to support in any other way you can uh, follow me on social media at anato tech on twitter and also on instagram so i hope this is going to help you if you have any further questions please let me know. My name is Anatu of Anatu Tech and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and happy coding. Respect.